Yes, May, kind of, what did you see from just the back line that Indiana changed after that first set to kind of really take momentum the rest of the way? Um, they really pushed us back on serve receive, and I think that's where um, our downfall was. I mean, after they started pushing us back, we didn't respond, and so that just affected everything else. So I think if we started out um, stronger and we were more aggressive in the passing lanes, I think um, the match would have gone a different way for sure. I can go more. I just got to give it a Oh, yes. <laughs> we'll switch it to Katie. What did they do defensively to kind of slow you down? Definitely that second set not hitting so well for this, the team. Us hitting? Yeah, us hitting. Oh, okay. Um, well, I thought our middles did, like, great when, on, when they were on the seas and then opened up our um, right side, which was Tim, mostly. But then... Um, they got us on a couple, and I think we didn't respond well. And then that kind of just spins into disaster sometimes. And Megan, Lindsay kind of mentioned all three of these teams kind of big, mm -hmm. similar styles to Big Sky teams. Yes. Uh, how does this help you going into next week, starting conference play? Um, we definitely have like a high level of play at times, and then we like towards the middle, we just kind of like shut down. So, I mean, if anything, it teaches us that we can um, play at a high level, but um, I think where we can learn from this is just how to maintain that level throughout the game and how to make changes throughout the match um, where we can um, turn a point deficit into um, taking over the match, advantage over the match. Right, my final one at least. Katie, uh, got DU on Tuesday. What do you want to see the team what do you think means to kind of change going um, into Tuesday's match? I think we'll see how we react coming back from this last match. I think we definitely know that that's not how we play. We don't get pushed back like that. We need to push back. So um, DU, I think we're ready to show that we are we are better than what we just played. Yeah, um, Megan, how's the dome? Oh, it's it's good. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I started practicing uh, full go on Wednesday, and I think um, I'm so, I worked into it, I eased into it, and then um, I was fine over the weekend. It felt really so good. You felt, you feeling good? Yes, great. Yeah. Um, how's it feel to get all turny? You know, good? Both of you guys. Um, you know, do you feel like your play was something exceptional? You guys did get named to the team. I think obviously um, we always think we are capable of doing way better. So especially in this tournament, I think we could have played at a higher level. It's, well, that's just me talking, but especially like on not just um, kills or digs, like talking on the court, being all of that. So. Um, kind of bouncing off. Question: You guys did face a bigger, aggressive team. Um, how do you handle that defensively? I mean, I think it starts with the front row. Um, I think we just need to have um, a little bit uh, more intent with our block, and then defensively, when the block gets t um, good touches like that, then we need to be able to capitalize on that and get a good ball out of it, and then um, and, and set up our offense from there. And offensively, how do you go about you know facing some? Big girls. Um, well, as blockers, I think we really just need to focus on low and over. We, I think we try to do too much when we see bigger opponents, but all we really need to do is focus on what we've been doing this whole preseason, which is low and over, and then our defense has us behind. So. Okay. Um, one last one for you, Katie. Mm -hmm. um, you're from India. Yeah. How's it, how's it feel going against uh, a team from your home state? Um, obviously, I wish there was a better outcome, but um, I, mean, love, I love playing against people from my hometown, I guess, or around me, just because you don't get to see it very often, so it's good.